What's happening guys, ddbr 89 here, back again with another Dragon Ball Legends video and today I'm bringing you news of the character balance changes that should be happening around the end of the month. So this is the third time that they are doing it, so I hope they have some good characters and we will see two of the characters on the official Twitter page in a second, but I'm going to go through this. And of course make sure you stay on to the video until the end because there will be a few summons dropped in. So I'm just going to read what it says on the page on legends.dbz.space. So in Dragon Ball Legends, PvP data is calculated and analysed regularly to provide our users with a better gaming experience. We currently plan to adjust characters bal balances based on the following. Avoiding concentrated use of specific characters, reliving characters, specialities. So avoiding concentrated use of specific characters. You lot know who you are, the holy tier users, the ones who like to use Broly and spam the hell out of him. You guys, they are trying to make us use a wider, versatile range of characters. So that's why they are buffing up these characters a lot more. Now I remember them buffing up the one-handed spirit bomb Goku by letting his green card attack. Well, if you use it twice, it buffs up his attack a lot more. So I hope they start bringing that into the other characters. So... They actually seem good and it makes the game a lot better, especially with a different range of moves and a different feel and intensity of the attack. So this time balance adjustments are planned to be carried out on five. So we are getting five characters, okay? At, well, five at least use characters based on the PvP data from Super Space Time Jewel number 18. So the Super Space Time Jewel number 18 list has been brought out. I will be making another video on that later on. So be sure to be subscribed to this channel to see the video in the future. Adjustments is scheduled for late February. We will announce specific dates and details on adjustments on Dragon Ball Legends official social media. So that is the Twitter site. And we will be going over to that now to see what characters will be buffed. So like I said, they have dropped two characters so far. So it says on here, based on our, it has the normal details, but it's just a little abbreviated one. Based on PvP data, Super Space Time Jewel 18, the five least used sparking and extreme characters will have their balance adjusted in late February. So these are the least used characters. So guys, if you do use these characters a lot and you're not playing, P playing PvP, then you need to start jumping on it. But the benefit is because they are the least used characters, they are going to get a buff. So I don't know how you're going to take it. From today, we will start announcing the details on our official social media page. So, we, like I said, we have two characters that are going to be dropped. And that is the Extreme Cell. So, balance preview or change preview for characters. EX, second form, Cell, blue. Various stats increments. So, they're going to be bringing his stats up slightly, just slightly. Of course, Z ability buffering. Element blue powered up from 5 star. So once you do 5 star this character, his Z ability buff it, buffs up a lot more blue element characters. But they only put little segments of what they're going to be doing to them. But I hope they do a lot more with their art cards and make them better with that. And then also we have Pan. So this is Sparking Pan. Once again, another blue type character. This is the month of the female. So I wouldn't be surprised they bring another female in. I'm really not surprised that she's one of the least used characters, but be it February and of course we have the female event, I'm not surprised, well I'm surprised she's a bit lower, but it is from the space time, well super space time 18, which was last month, so yeah she should be getting a buff and hopefully help the female team. So the preview changes is... Character Sparking Pan Blue, various stat increments, so her, in her stats should go up slightly. Special Art Cost Lowered and it affects Powered Up. So her Art Cards are going to be lowered, but her effects are going to be Powered Up, which is good. I hope they change the animation on some of her abilities as well. And additional effects to Main Ability, draw a Special Art and decrease all enemies, cards, draw speed and etc. So she's going to have quite a few buffs, people. So... Be sure to be powering up as much as you can. If you can try to get a 5 star, I believe I have already. Because she just likes to come all the time. It's annoying. But she likes to drop on my summons every so often. Like I said, which is really annoying. But 
Now she might be a valuable used player and they are hoping to make her used more in PvP. But guys, that is all the information on these two characters. There should be three more dropping soon. I don't know when, maybe tomorrow or within the next few days because they did say at the end of the month they should have all the characters buffed up. So look forward to another update in the game. But without further more, we are going to transition over to my summoning and we'll see how it goes from there. So we're going to jump straight into this summon. So I'm going to go into my daily summons first and then I'm going to do my guarantee spark in which everyone, if you've been logging in for the daily logins, should be by now on their second guaranteed sparking. So hopefully we can either buff up a few characters or get a new sparking. Of course, at the end we will get a guaranteed sparking, but I want a new one. I either want cover or final form cell, hopefully. Okay, this isn't looking good for me. The summons have not been going well. Okay, this is... Oh. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking for a hero, but hopefully it'll be a buffed up hero. Hopefully I can get an extreme second form cell, which will hopefully help us. Okay, no Cyberman. To be honest, on this banner you'd think the chocolate one would drop. They should have had the chocolate one as a summonable character, or at least a gimmick, because I believe we can only summon two cells. Okay, so that one will be used in a minute, so we're going to go into this ultra space time. Number nine, and we'll do the guaranteed one in a second. I wouldn't mind uh, another Vegeta, Super Vegeta. I believe then I can six star him, I can't remember. Okay, so that was one pod. Come on, Goku, mate, you have been doing nothing. Okay. Yep, so looks like we're going to get another hero here. At least limit break. Okay, Cell Junior, hero. At least limit break. Nope. Nope. Okay, waste not. We're not going to waste time on this one. Okay, so we got one more daily left, which is the Master Pack 2. Ah, come on, people. Fingers crossed. Wish us luck. To be honest, I haven't got a lot of characters on the Master Pack 2. I have loads of tickets, which I will be summoning later on. But I need to wait until I get a new phone because this doesn't like to record or stream across this, well, PC slash laptop for any longer than five minutes. So if it goes past that, it corrupts it. So, And I've got, what, 30, 30 or tickets? Okay. Come on, push this through. Push it through. Come on, boys. Come on, Vegeta. Vegeta. Let me down, mate. Okay, first form cell. I would have been happy with the second extreme one, but... Yeah, a cell's a cell. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to go on to our guaranteed sparking, which should spice up the game a little bit. Hopefully give me a sparking, but... I, have, I always have this sort of feeling in the back of my mind that once I use a sparking, it feels it's given me one and I won't be able to summon one for a while. Hopefully that's not the truth. But, yeah, it's the way it's been, isn't it? It's the way it's been. Come on. So we're not getting a new character, but we have got the Dragon Balls. It is guaranteed. And Vegeta is popping in. Didn't come on the last one, but he wants to come now. Nice. Yeah, this is... I reckon I'm going to get Super Vegeta, aren't I? I'm going to get Super Vegeta. Ooh, okay then. She's going to four-star then. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. At least we limit break and we got our sparking. So, she's going to four-star. It's not bad. But guys, that is it for me today on this video. Make sure you have subscribed and turn your notification bell on for more videos in the future because... If you're not subscribed, you're not going to know when these new videos come out and then you're not going to be in the loop. I do try to drop as much news as possible and as much, of course, summoning and gameplay as possible. But 
You need to be summoned to know what's going to happen. But guys, like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more in the future. And until next time, people, peace.